Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 48 reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, uh, it kind of went towards a new direction. Uh, I was not expecting a bunch of, um, you know, like plants in the middle of it like and then they have to like you know defeat each and every plant to get to the final one where like you know how we'll be waiting and um i was really not expecting that but we have to do this um there are i think 10 i think they said 10 or something like that i forgot the actual number but you know uh that number of plants and we will have to go to the different plants each plant will have like a patch efficient assigned to it We'll have to fight them defeat them go to the other one and like you know kind of move forward like this so each plant will have its own characteristics like you know one like for example the plant that we saw in the previous episode one of it was like in the desert there's like you know no moisture and that's why ren had ren and horohoro had problems uh in it uh but the the, the patch efficient he actually did not study ren and horohoro because he thought that oh they would not attack me because they are weak here but they took advantage of that both of them uh, used like you know their brain and defeated him so that was like you know that was like one the first one the other one was like in the middle of a valley i think where there's like no nothing and he like you know the guy he is using spider webs to kind of uh stay mid-air and he got everyone by surprise everyone like you know got stuck Lysark was able to get out of that whole situation and uh, Lysark uh, we see him in the end like you know using his hellfire to burn him and actually cause damage to him and uh, uh, yeah like we're, we're going to resume from there I'm guessing so that's basically what's happening and it's interesting like you know we can see a lot of like you know different fights variety of fights uh, you know where each fight will have its own like you know characteristic and each fight will have their own weakness or uh, its own strength so yeah it'll be it'll be fun to see like you know what every like you know each and every character do how they kind of adapt to the situation and what like you know like they do was throughout the whole fight uh the only thing that is of like you know kind of d disappointing here is that i'm sure they're probably going to jam in two or three fights in one uh, episode which will probably be this like you know this will probably be quite a rushed fight uh these fights so like you know i would love to like you know just uh like you know like uh like take my time with each and every fight but i'm i doubt that's going to happen because there's a lot of things that are still left i feel like you know like we'll have to defeat them then go to how then like you know i don't know what's going to happen with how so that whole situation and there are this is 48 49 48 49 50 51 52 five five episodes left so in in these five episodes they'll have to jam in everything so that's kind of uh you know a shame but yeah and, and nevertheless i'm sure i'll have fun with it so let's get started this is episode number um 48 yeah 48 of shaman king so uh, yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here Think it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go You help me in my quest. Oh, really? Oh my God, he's he's back. He's alive. Okay. So yeah now i don't know like this so wait a minute so i'm guessing all the yeah yeah it kind of seems like that like all the characters that we'll be fighting like each and every character are like you know our team for example um rue rue was involved in the previous fight where you know they had that whole thing with that patch efficient they were kind of like you know like um like you know like he had like a i think vendetta yeah against him so that thing and here again we see um lyserk being involved in with this brawn uh you know efficient patch efficient so am i forgetting it did 
Did they have some kind of uh, like you know friendship or something? Like I don't remember anything. Well, oh, I'm guessing. I'm guessing Braun is his, um, you know, the the patch efficient who was, who he was under, just like how Silva was for um, uh, um, Yo, is it like the same thing? Because I don't remember anywhere where Braun we saw Braun and Lyser together. Oh my God. Okay, um, oh, because of that. Is she going to come out? Ooh. Oh. Wow, Colin Knee Crusher, my God. I think you should probably not underestimate him. Yeah. Whoa. Oh! Yeah, she needs that. How did he... What? The glasses? Oh! Oh, he kept it in his pockets. Oh, damn. You see it shook you. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah, the willpower is the main thing here, you know. Since this is Whoa, what the this <laughs> What was that? Okay, oh my god. Okay, now this one's... It's wrecked three people. Volcano. <laughs> and his name is Magna, okay. What the hell? Why are we attacking her? Like that? Okay. Yeah, that's why you attack him. Uh, attack her. Okay. We kind of got a glimpse of it. I remember. From one of the previous episodes. Magnescope, okay. Sniper. Oh. Oh, he, he's going for her. Oh, it's empty. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, they died and came back, so they're stronger now. Oh lord, my son. <laughs> Damn. Magneton. Whoa, what? Just like that? Oh my god, the bad song. Uh. Okay, that was close. Subtitles are messed up today. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she, she can prophesize? Is that what? Oh, oh no, maybe reading minds. That's why he said like... <laughs> okay, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, reading minds. Kind of like how, and that's why I'm guessing he what who is that am I missing something who's that All right. <laughs> wow, that's how two plants go down. Barbecue. <laughs> uh Is this horror is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, everyone's just having a picnic. Oh my god, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Wait the moment. Pray? Yeah. Oh, so from here on us, I guess no one should, like, you know, must not die. If they die, it, it'll be a problem to bring them back. Like, it'll take time for John to get her Furyoku back. How much?
Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Oh my god, Foss is really Hey, what? Oh, he's still not down. Okay, what is happening? Come on. Oh, great. Oh, no, I forgot. Foss can bring them back. I forgot about that. Not only John. Oh, this is how he snipes. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Electric speed. All right. And that's it, I guess. This is the galaxy. Is that an alien or is... Oh, this is how, okay. Hmm. Oh. So they're in space now? They constructed. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's uh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, obviously. Your thoughts. Yeah. Oh. The UFO? Or is it the... Okay, that's that's the throne. Oh wait, is that the previous? No, that's. Okay, it is the previous Shawan King. I was right then. <laughs> Sleeping. Maybe to let them. Go, oh. yeah, to help them. 
Uh, all right. Eh. <laughs> well, he wants you to come to him because he's like other half, so. <laughs> Um, what's happening? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Damn, they even have security here. Who <laughs> whispered to me? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, okay, that's his. My. Oh! What? Hmm. Oh, yeah. My God, that'll be. Okay, is so you're going to fight now? Yeah, both are swordsmans. Okay. Pilot. Oh wait, he he took care of how? <laughs> What's happened? Oh my god, what are they doing? Did they like, okay. Oh no. Oh no, we're okay. Oh my god, it broke! It broke! Yeah, that Fuyoko concentration is just. Oh my god. Oh damn, he took his is. What? <laughs> Yo, this guy. Where have I heard his voice before? Five thousand each more. Okay. A lot. This guy looks like a lot more. Um, what can I say? Like empathetic or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's the announcer. Okay. I, forgot, I didn't realize that. Okay.
Hmm. Well, no, don't assume. Don't assume stuff. Oh no! I okay. He got forced. The one who can resurrect others. Wait, what was? I guess Force was probably like conserving his Furioku. That's why he, he didn't do anything up until now. Yeah, yeah, it's probably that because he he's there for resurrection. Like you know, to bring the people back. If he actually fights, then you know, like yeah, it defeats the whole purpose. Okay, so um, quite a few number of plants we had today i think the first one was obviously the valley one and then the volcano one now the lake one like yeah like so three three plants minimum in one episode they'll have to complete for everything to like you know work out properly and we also got a bonus you know like section of seeing what how is doing now um yeah okay okay one thing um is that the end i'm thinking about one thing do we know who the previous summer shaman king was did they ever tell us in this in the anime um well like we do obviously we do know that um how tried oh it's probably uh him um uh what was his name that guy yoken i think that was he was the shaman king wasn't he the previous one because he's the one who defeated how as far as i remember in uh probably the finals matamune was also there let me know. I, I think I, I, so. So is he? Was he the Shaman King before this one? Hmm. Okay. So this episode, um, we start with what was his name? I think. Oh God, I forgot his name. The guy. Uh. The one uh, fighting with Lyserk. Uh, what was his name? You know what? Oh, it's like so many names that like you know, I am actually like you know mixing everything up. Let me check. Um, okay. Uh, what was his name? Let's see. His name was um okay, where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Bron, Bron, there you go, Bron. Okay, uh so alright, so this guy one thing, let me know. Was he like uh, the one who was overseeing uh Lyserk? Just like how Silva was, you know, like given the responsibility of uh Yo. I think that's what who he was wasn't it because i think that like in the in the middle of the whole thing uh Lysak said something about like oh you helped me out for so long uh to help uh, me get my like you know like on my path to revenge against how something like that he said so i'm guessing braun was the one who was looking after him or like you know who, who was assigned to him as a patch efficient Obviously, because he is like you know one uh, a, a fighter of the shaman fight uh, king fight, so yeah, I think it was something like that. Otherwise, like I, I've never seen him before with Lyser, so suddenly them kind of bringing that up. Um. So yeah. Okay. So we start with that fight, and he we can see he's still there. You know he hasn't died, and um the hellfire did not work. Like it worked, but it he used the patch song, <laughs> song and. He was able to keep himself from dying and he just shot the the web or whatever it was 
and pierced Lyserk. So now seeing this situation, uh, Jan thought that all right, I have to come out, otherwise, like you know, it will be a problem. So she comes out, and Braun goes towards Jan. Jan, we could see Jan was handling herself pretty well here. She first, like you know, kind of cut off one of his arms. Then he used the 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 skull and the knee crusher to imprison him. Even though he forcefully tried to still attack him, he he changed into like you know his body into his Furioku form like a spider. He goes towards her, and like you know seeing Jun here, I think like she could have probably handled the situation, but it would have taken a lot of Furioku. That's why Lizard came in. Lizard was like, okay, you keep your Furioku and conserve it. Um, let me handle this. And we get to know that his Lizard wasn't like you know injured because there was the the glasses marco's glasses which was which was bulletproof and he had it in his pocket or somewhere and so that's where it got <laughs> and uh, okay we like one thing um like <laughs> braun did not shoot a bullet towards him he sh i'm guessing he shot like a concentrated furioku which was like that that web kind of thing so <laughs> like I, I doubt like in you know, a bulletproof glass could stop it let me know i i don't think it could stop this like you know it, it's probably like a high concentrated furioku uh, thing so uh, i'm guessing marco's <laughs> glasses was probably a little bit more stronger than just normal bulletproof proof glass it was probably furioku proof or something like that i don't know because he did not shoot him he did not shoot him a bullet he, he shot him that that web kind of thing that he uses and I, 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 I doubt that, like, you know, that is as strong as a bullet. It's probably a lot more stronger than a normal bullet. So, yeah, just something that came to my mind. Anyways, um, so, okay, now here, I don't understand what happened. Um, he, like, you know, Lyser, okay, let me check that part out. Now, let, if I, let's see if I can understand. Lyser uses his, what is it called? Cremation. Oh, I understand. I, I I was like, what was that? Like, you know, he uses some kind of a purple fire, and then we see like a person just standing there, like you know, like a um, uh, like you know, a purple silhouetted person standing there. I I, I did not understand at, at the heat of the moment. So he actually covered uh, Braun with the the purple flame or whatever, and that's why it's called cremation. You know, like you, you cover the person up completely and i guess you just destroy them or something yeah he says cremation it yeah it, it the, like you know the fire kind of is like you know covering him and it just burns off or disappears he is gone completely now i do wonder if if there's no body you know how can you bring a person back even though even if Jun and uh, Foss can resurrect people, if there's no body, like you know, like he, I think like he just completely burned him down, like you know, to like ashes or something. He's gone completely annihilated. So, like, how how will it be possible to bring him back? And because I'm I'm pretty sure like all the uh, patch officials who they're killing, they're going to bring them back later. So, how are they going to bring him back? He, his body's gone. Like even if they are able to like you know somehow trap the soul, they they need like another body or something. I don't know. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was it. That was the first battle or the battle that was continuing from the previous episode, the battle in the valley. Now we go to the battle in the volcano, and here we meet. Uh, what's his name? Okay, let me check. His name is what's his name? Magna. Yeah, Magna. Okay. Magna. Magna. Okay, he kind of gives them like you know like tells them like all right. So you guys have been here. Uh, you've lost a lot of Furioku. You know you've resurrected a lot of people up until now, and there's still a lot more to go. So like yeah, it's it's kind of impossible for you to like you know just keep going like this and you're, you're definitely going to lose he kind of gives like kind of talks with them like that and did he say that okay wait a minute let me check 
Or was it? Ah, yeah, he's the one who says this. Yeah. Um, and he starts talking with Opacho. Opacho is like, oh, I want to go to house. Ama. I want to, like, you know. Now he attacks Opacho. <laughs> and I, I, I guess he probably, like, as he said, like, I, I, I'm scaring her. And he did that most probably because he knew that even if someone didn't help him, help her out, um, <clears throat> Opacho would, you know, like, kind of dodge the whole thing because she can read minds. Now, a funny thing kind of crossed my mind here. I was not, I did not actually notice it up until now, but now I'm noticing it again that I've gone back to this part. Post is too quiet. Is that a dummy? Is that a dummy, like, you know, is that like a, like, you know, like some kind of a fake Faust or something? Like, I, I'm noticing it now. It seems he has been quiet throughout this whole episode. Like, we, like, like not only just quiet, like, we not, didn't even see him move at all or something like that. Like, he's just sitting there still. Maybe I, it's just me, but you know what? It wouldn't actually surprise me if in the previous episode we find out that the Faust, that, that guy, you know, like in the end, he, he gets Faust, attacks him, and it seems like he, he killed him. It wouldn't surprise me in the previous uh, next episode if we actually see that that Faust was a fake one, and the original Faust is somewhere else or something, you know? It wouldn't surprise me because I'm, I'm noticing it now. He has been quiet throughout this whole episode, first of all. Number two, he's not even showing his eyes. He's kind of looking down. The head is kind of there. It's kind of quietly just sitting there. We, we, we don't, we're not even seeing his eyes properly. Like if you could actually, like, if you could see him actually move or like, you know, kind of, uh, at least see him respond to the stuff, I would be like, all right, it's a real Faust. But he's too quiet, I feel like. And here as well, like, you know, like we, we can see Magna attack them, Opacho. Force is just sitting there, even though, um, you know, like, Opacho was almost going to, you know, get, like, you know, like, attacked. Uh, he's just sitting there, and obviously, um, what's his name? Um, Chocolove was able to see that, and Chocolove was able to save her. But I'm sure, like, you know, the time that it would have taken Chocolove to come from, like, you know, distance and save Opacho, Force has a, had a better chance to do that, and he didn't do anything over there, just kept quiet, sitting down. So that's why I think maybe, maybe that's like a fake Faust or like a dummy or something. Look, let me check that scene again. Just a sec. Or maybe I'm just looking too much into this. I don't know. I, I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like something's going on with Faust. He, he's been too quiet throughout this whole episode. Anyways, enough about that. I'm sure I'll get my answer in the next episode. But yeah, let's go back to Opacho. Uh, Opacho gets attacked and <clears throat> uh, he's like, oh, like you, you guys don't even know her, her power and he, she would have been able to easily like, you know, counter that. <clears throat> and he talks about his own spirit ally, the, the owl magnescope, I think that's what he called it. And he says like, you know, like I can snipe. And I, <laughs> I expected as, like, you know, like as he said, like I can snipe people. I expected like you know, him with a sniper rifle or the owls. I don't know what, like, you know, maybe the owl will try and like, you know, turn into a sniper rifle or something. <laughs> I did not expect, like, you know, in the end, as we see that type of sniping where he just, like, you know, kind of comes and attacks them directly. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, okay, so he first tries to go towards uh, Jan because Jan was, like, you know, like, is one of their main assets. Like, you know, she can resurrect people and heal people. So he attacks the Jun's uh, uh, Iron Maiden and it's empty and they say like ah Jun is back in the valley because you know like yeah you're right we have used a lot of Furuku and uh, Jun is you know like she's she, she cannot like you know go move forward after this now I do hope Jun is able to, like obviously Jun obviously will be able to get her Furuku back so hopefully by the time like I'm, i don't know if there will be any more casualties after this at least for our team you know if it does happen i, I really hope like jan is able to like you know regain her fluke and actually bring all of them back 
uh in time because there's i'm I, i'm sure there's like a time limit you know like there's a time limit up until when the soul will be there and if the time limit goes away the soul will probably just uh disappear or something so within that time limit you need to bring the people back i'm guessing oh so, okay now uh ren attacks and <sighs> we can see he uses his patch song and they start fighting like you know ren is dodging pretty well so here is where uh yo kind of like you know studies opacho and he realizes that oh maybe she can read minds or something she asks her like okay can you say what ren is ren is thinking he's like no and then she's like <laughs> his um you know like thought process is very complicated i cannot now interesting thing here again um here as she says like you know complicated things she cannot understand properly later on in this episode we can also hear how say the same thing as well he says like complicated things which like you know like it's better to actually listen to it than like you know listening to thoughts and like you know figuring every, everything out a complicated thing out is a little bit problematic so opacho also kind of said the same thing you know like because over there uh, rutherford i think that was his, her, his or her name uh that alien uh like you know like it said that that was explaining the space thing you know like what what, what that whole thing was it was like a complicated whole like you know scientific uh uh explanation so how wasn't able to understand that uh but it, i'm guessing he would be able to understand that even if she listened he listened to the thoughts but it will take him time and more like, you know it, it's a trying process i'm guessing uh and here opacho also cannot actually uh, read um, Ren's like you know movements, fighting movements, the things he's thinking is because you know he he's fighting, he's continuously thinking like oh I should do this, I should do that after I should dodge after this, all these things like you know happening one after the other. So it's probably complicated. So this kind of makes me realize both Opacho and How's uh, like you know like uh, powers are really similar in a way you can say. So that's interesting. Maybe that's the reason why how actually let her be with her, uh, with him, and since both can like you know like just <laughs> understand each and other, each other's like you know uh, things that they're thinking. Um. Okay, and but Opacho does say that yeah, uh, Ren is kind of blaming himself. Not blaming, but you know like uh, is mad at himself. There you go. And Uryo realizes that, ah, like, Opacho probably, um, you know, like, can understand, like, you know, like, and hear the feelings and thoughts. And then he thinks, like, why would Howl let us give access to her? All right. Here's the part that I don't understand. Who is this Z or Z? I, I've gone back to that part. I can see there's this tiny little demon. Is this what they, the anime skipped? Let me know. I don't. I. I. I don't remember this little demon ever. So I'm guessing it's probably uh, when Yo went to train in hell. That part. Maybe that's where he, he met them. Because you know, he. You remember that part where he says like, "Oh, like I'll, uh, you know, like take me to your boss or something like that." He says, and after that they kind of skip the whole part and we see he just won. It's. It probably happened there. Maybe that's what happened. Let me know. And. Uh, so yeah, we can see a little demon here. There was a Z written in the belly, I think. And he says, Yo says, like, I don't know. When I thought about how, I saw Z. Again, this doesn't make sense to me. And why would thinking about how make him think about Z. That's another thing that I don't understand. I don't know. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's move forward. And then we get a weird, like, you know, like scene where we see Opacho is just staring blankly with his her eyes. That was kind of weird. I don't know if that has like some extra significance or not. But all right. So now we shift back to the real uh, like you know the uh, uh, the upper world 
uh, they are having a barbecue and everyone's just <laughs> preparing stuff. Anahol and um, Tamao, you know, both are kind of on the seashore, and Anahol is like, What the hell is happening? Why is like, and everyone just <laughs> yeah, and we also see Horohoro's dad, Horohoro's sister, I forgot her name, anyways. Um, and but but the you know, how's previous teammates the hanagumi and the other other two uh, they're pretty sad like and and Anaho says like obviously because they don't know where to go and so do i i also don't know where to go now um yeah so uh, i don't know what to say about them because uh, like they yeah they do need to find a new path now because like after this, either Hao will die, or he will live, he will become the Shaman King. Either way, you know, they need to like, you know, look at something completely new and start walking in a new path. Either way. So, yeah, and them being, you know, people who have been rejected by the society. As far as I can remember, they have like some messed up pasts. Uh, the girls as well. I, as far as I remember, like, you know, I think in one of the comments someone said, uh that they were like re yeah like uh, one of them was called a witch or something as far as i remember and uh like a few others like you know they, they were like rejected from the society you know, nobody like you know like people just shunned them or something and that's why you know like they are like nowhere to they, they have nowhere to go now how has apparently gone on his own way just leaving them and they they don't know what to do so Okay, now Anna comes in. Anna is like, "All right, I'll let you know about the Furuku uh, count if you want to know." We shift back to Jun, and uh, we can see Jun is praying. Like Jun is saying, "Like yeah, all I can do now is pray for the warriors because um I like you know like there's nothing else I can do here. Like and my Furuku is down, and yeah, that's all I can do now. Keep believing." All right, so. Again, we go back to the barbecue preparation. <laughs> Everyone's doing their own thing. And here's an interesting fact comes up. Where is it? Brock, uh, uh, Brock what was his name? Brocken, Brock? I think Brocken was his name, wasn't it? The, the, the one who looks like a Lego. <laughs> that, that guy, that guy. He's the adoptive father of, oh, wait a minute. Where is that part? Uh, okay, I can't find that part. Where is it? I think he says something about like, oh, it's kind of funny. Both his biological father and his adoptive father are like, you know, just sitting in front of each other, just like getting prepared for a barbecue. <laughs> so he took care of how that means. Like how, like as we know, like you know how just flew away <laughs> after after born, like gonna become after being born, uh, how just flew away, and so I'm guessing he he took care of him when he was a child. And obviously we know like Mikiasa is the biological father of how, but okay now Anna actually tells us about the Furioku levels and let me go and look at it one by one. Because that happened so quickly, I wasn't able to properly see. Okay, um, uh, Yo has how much? Hundred. Uh, yeah, hundred thousand of rocks. Now her, his uh, upper limit is hundred and eight thousand. Yeah, uh, but his full, now currently he has seventy eight thousand for you. So he has conserved quite a lot. We can see. Um, oh damn, Ren is pretty low, uh, but makes sense. He fought two or three of them, I think. So uh, Ren's Furioku is hundred thousand, kind of similar the, the upper limit, kind of like um, Yo, similar to him, uh, but he has half of it left, which is fifty thousand. Okay, Horo Horo is one hundred twenty thousand. Okay, more than Yo's. All right, but he has eighty thousand left decent enough yo chocolate so much 
it does make sense you know because chocolate is contracted to abasan so 197500 and he has 167500 left okay uh Lysark, oh quite a lot 170000 he has 115000 left um he was kind of low, 85,000, and he also has 45,000 left. Cost is extremely low, 12,500, while his, like, you know, the Fulioko is left is 3,500. Um, which does make sense because he's actually, like, you know, helping people out, like, you know, healing them, resurrecting them. The weird thing is, Opacho has 800. Now, so that means as a warrior she is not that powerful is that what it means or what does this mean like she she has a pretty good one good power i think i, I remember like seeing it in one of the previous episodes oh yeah anyways that was the furuku levels and uh, all right ren is still fighting and <sighs> magna is like all right let me show you my actual technique he he goes in inside like kind of disappears and he now this is what he meant by sniping he just comes in and just crushes people with the talents and <laughs> and uh ren also kind of dodges and since he has like you know like electrical like, you know, like speed as he said like he can dodge pretty well all right we go to the final plant uh, the space plant which is a really interesting one uh there's like an alien looking type of a person his or her it seems like a female voice so i'm, I'm gonna call yeah I'm, I'm gonna call uh her because it seems like a female voice but all right the, uh the last officiant and the guardian of the space plant rutherford there you go so this is rutherford and this is a space plant and there's nothing here it's kind of like space zero gravity vacuum uh, no air nothing and she can somehow like you know like like you know like obviously like you know, it looks like an alien has like a ufo with it and now she makes a path for them uh how starts walking and he talks about uh, the moo continent she says uh, the people of Mu acquired great knowledge. Before the civilization, uh, civilization fell, they built a fast research facility to enable them to migrate into space. Interesting. Okay, so it is now in it they constructed these man made worlds, 10 environments simulating all the major climates of Earth. Uh, those are the underground plants okay but then i suppose that explanation okay no, never mind all right so that was like the explanation of this whole thing what like you know what are these plants actually like you know who are the move like you know why did they make this all these things uh, so they wanted to i guess go to space and here how talks about how it's a little bit problematic for him to actually uh you know like grasp what people are thinking like you know like in a more detailed manner and that's why it helped him out here like he cannot grasp everything like that easily so yeah it's easier to make sense of words and sentences than pure thought and he even says like you know sound doesn't uh, travel in vacuum yet you can see hear our voices and that's why the other two are actually like you know quiet they're not saying anything so they probably can't hear because it's vac vacuum and uh the oxygen filled oversoul membrane you know he uh, around how and how tells that you also have an interesting oversoul rutherford i suppose your spirit ally is dot 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 now here comes the thing what is his like you know her uh spirit ally is it the alien looking thing is it the ufo i don't know i'm sure i'll get to know when we are going to come here and we're going to fight you know rutherford uh and then i i'm guessing we'll get to know okay resumes uh, Mu eventually, uh, but Mu eventually perished. Uh, alas, despite their superior technology, they were only human. Okay, 
against natural disasters and the wrath of nature they were helpless okay so interesting so the, that's how the the, the people of the mu continent are no more because they were humans they they died all right and we go to the final place where there's a throne and a house says it's been a long time now let me know uh he says old king from 500 uh, 500 years ago is that yoken it, it would like you know because yoken was matamune's you know like master as far as i remember and uh like you know matamune defeated how with his you know master and that was yoken i'm guessing and that's that means that probably means yoken became this uh shaman king and that's his yeah i don't know uh, all right so now we go back again to uh yo and here yo talks about uh, like you know probably opacho's ability is like you know mind reading and he talks about uh like everyone's like why would like you know he actually let her come with us then <laughs> and yo is like mm. <laughs> yo is kind of laughing you know now i, I do understand like and i also thought like it's probably he let uh, opacho be here to help us out because he wants you to come to him you know, like obviously like you know because they're brothers and like you know he's like his other half all that stuff so yeah and he wants to give them a fair chance i'm guessing okay so we next go to the lake plant and here we have uh what's his name mm, let me go and check his name is Radi. yes okay uh <laughs> At first, I did not realize he was actually the announcer. Now, now I can see it. Uh, okay, so wait a minute. Who is this voice actor? Yasuhiro Mamiya. Okay, let me check. Who is that? Oh, his magma from Doctor Stone. All right, I, and a few other as well. I can see, but all right. Okay, so uh, his his voice sounded kind of familiar. That's why. All right, en enough about that. Okay, we go back. Uh, yeah uh Ra radim that was his name yeah radim radim is here and radim he seems a lot more calm and composed than the others and he has a like you know a, a sword kind of thing with just pure furyoku energy uh, focused on it and yeah obviously that'll be a problem because if he starts the shaman song uh patch song sorry <laughs> you know it, it the, the the concentrated blade will even get stronger so that's a problem and they start fighting Oh, here's where they say, like, we go back to uh, the barbecue again. Um, here's where Brocken, I think he says. No, um, ah, he's the one he says, yeah. Here we are, his biological father and the one who raised him. There you go. So he's the one who raised him. Makes sense. All right. And, uh, okay. Now, another problem comes out. Red Seb and Seiram are gone. They are, you know, like taking the golem underwater, going towards uh, how, and they're like, yeah, I'm going to defeat him. Why are they not <clears throat> all together jumping on him? I don't know what's going to happen after that, but we'll see. Okay, so Yo starts fighting against Radim. Uh, Ryu comes and gives him a hand, but unfortunately, the uh, Fudoku uh, sword is too strong. Lysak also joins in and oh my god he kind of <laughs> uses his sunglasses to <laughs> throw it towards <laughs> Chocola and then he takes it back again and puts it on oh boy yeah he, he seems really strong and he's pretty calm collected and everything he okay now he talks about the average Furyoku takes to like you know generate the oversoul fight this and that that's why he's like you guys are going to be tired by now uh, by uh, the time you actually go uh, and meet how so go back he says and okay so here ren oh my god ren says like oh you don't have you know like any intention to attack, like you know, kill us so yeah we'll not stop and that's why I, where i realized like yeah Ren, Ren sh uh, like, uh, shouldn't have done that because yep he, he's like all right if you guys want it and he just comes in and just 
tabs you know like um fast now yeah let's see what happens in the next one and i i i feel like that fast is a fake one because he's been too quiet throughout this whole episode he's not even moving i've not seen him move from this from the beginning and uh yeah if he actually dies then it's all over that's why i think maybe in the next episode uh, we're going to see that oh the, that fast is like a fake one or something like that the, the original fast is somewhere else or something but we'll see but yeah that's it that was my reaction to episode number uh, 48 of shaman king so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that is it thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah we're probably going to get like two or three battles like this every uh, episode uh, up until we reach how and um, yeah i feel like the battles are pretty nicely paced i i, I did not see them rushing any part so yeah it it, it 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 seems oh fine you know like i thought they were going to rush it so much that it'll really feel awkward but no it, it, there was no such feelings i feel like they're kind of it's it's fine it's okay like you know like it, it, there's no weird cuts or anything like that it's 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 normal and uh, yeah i'm happy about that so yeah. anyway so uh, yeah i'll see you guys uh, next week with uh, the next episode so uh, until then goodbye and have a nice day